Hello, so in this tutorial we are going to create a camera control like in League of Legends or Dota so you can move your camera with your mouth or with your keyboard and your camera would always stay in bounds of your area that you specified or by some external variables and yeah, let's create just that so let's get started by creating a new script called bounded bounded camera and I will open it up now we need to specify let's have public float size x and let's set it to be 10 public float <clears throat> size y let's make it so this would be the bounds of our camera a maximum of 10 to the top and 10 to the left and let's give our camera public public vector to center so this would be the center of the camera and now we want to say a camera so what we also need is public um, private actually we don't so uh, but whatever let's say public transform cam transform so in this case this cam transform is going to be camera dot main dot transform and if you have the tag of main camera on your main camera this would get it either way you can just specify it over here so let's say if cam dot transform is equal to null we would just find the camera now we want to say that cam to transform the position is going to be center but uh, we also want to have a minus 10 on the z axis so it can see stuff so new vector 2 center dot x center dot y and minus 10 or some other value and in here let's say if so okay now we want to get far a vector 2 movement and this would be new vector 2 and we want to get input dot get axis and this would be horizontal and input get axis vertical and now if we say public now if we say cam to transform plus equal movement speed times time delta time we want to also have public float speed it's going to be like 10 so let's multiply it by speed and our camera would move position and this actually should be vector 3 and let's make it var now also if we press something like uh, the key r so input dot get key down key code r or any other key we just say cam to transform would be equal to the center so we would just reset our camera now let's just see what this does so I have here a game manager I would just disable this script and I would drop the bounded camera now let's press play 
and you can see I can move my screen as I want but it's not really bounded okay so right now I'm going to demonstrate the bounds by using this white texture I would disable this board and I'll go inside my bounded camera script and I would get public transform target and I would say target.scale going to be size x and target dot is going to be new vector free size x size y and zero and one actually and target dot the center would be exactly and target transform dot position is going to be actually it's just position is going to be the center now let's set the texture to be our target so this white texture is exactly one by one uh, size as you can see on this grid and if I press play this is 10 by 10 and now we want to make sure it's bounded by this so let's set the size to be 25 by 25 and we can go outside so if we look at this and uh, at this screen we can see that even though the texture is 25 by 25 uh, what we actually can go with the camera is would be at 10 the 12 and a half of this so our range and we have some extra range over here with the camera and what the maximum the camera should go up would be this extra range over here and the minimum is the same thing over here and we can't actually move in the x axis okay so now let's make this work so we remove the camera let's put it at the end and we need a few variables called half x is going to be size x size x divided by 2 var half y going to be size y divided by 2 and if um, okay so now we need offsets of our offset it's going to be new vector 2 um, vector 2 of the camera cam transform position minus our center so this is how far we are away from the center so how do we get the size of the screen this rectangle over here well it's fairly simple so we can see the orthographic size is 6 and that means that the center of this of the camera to this border is exactly six unit long so if I make this texture 12 in size and it fits exactly in this uh, camera now for the x-axis we just need to calculate what's the ratio between the x between the height and width and then we multiply it by the scale uh, so the scale would be 6 and we would get both units so inside our script we say var a vertical bound is going to be cam hmm, it should be a cam transform dot get component camera and orthographic size and far uh, 
horizontal bound is going to be vertical bound multiplied by screen width divided by screen height and probably I want to have a private camera cam and let's just say camera is equal to this cam and cam over here so we don't really want to do this every frame get the camera this call is expensive so now we want to know how much we can move upward so this is going to be uh, the bound uh, minus the camera bound and the y bound and the same thing for the x's so if a uh, half x minus vertical so half y minus vertical bound is greater than abc math abc uh, offset offset dot x that means we are off bound so we can't move anymore so movement dot y is equal to zero and they made a mistake here should be y same thing for the x-axis so x x this horizontal and x over here so I made a little mistake we need to just swap this one out so we first of all need to actually say what is cam transform and only then we can get the camera so if we press play now we it doesn't work well the reason is I've made a mistake and it should be the opposite so in here it should be less so when the area that we still can move so let's say this is like five and we moved five now five is always greater than zero so the offset is initially zero and now if uh, we make it less so if this is five we can move five in the y-axis until we actually can't move anymore let's try and yep now we can't move anyway because we just stuck so I can reset it the problem we have now is that when we uh, go right and we got hit to the right bound now we can press left and go to the left side now a way to calculate this is by using dot product so the offset is a vector from here to here in this direction and when we're going to the left we get a vector to the other uh, direction if we do dot product we get a value less than zero so in here we would say if a vector to dot product between our offset and the movement is greater or equal to zero that means we are facing the same direction except we would have some problems in the borders and that's why I would first of all uh, just remove the x from this one so I would say the x is 0 so I would only look in the x direction now the same thing we can do for this one and let's say x and 0 now we should be able to actually
and yeah this is working as expected and the last step would be if we move the mouse over here so to the edge of the screen I would like to camera also move upward downward and right left if input.mouse position.x is greater than screen dot um, width at times some value let's say 0.5f we would want to have movement dot x equals to 1 else if so not actually else if so if input so exactly the same thing except for the y and screen height now we will say movement dot y is going to be equals to zero else if so this would be only the top side if mouse position dot y is less than screen dot height times 0.5f movement dot y is equal to here 1 and here minus 1 and let's copy paste this minus less 0, 0.5 and this is working and here you go you have a Dota 2 League of Legend like camera and I will use this in my tower defense